sitting on a log. Well, maybe it's a tree. It's a giant tree. I was just taking Lola for a walk and I started thinking about something that I wanted to talk about. So, a lot of the times you're gonna hear the word synchronicity throughout the spiritual community. It's a term that Carl Jung coined. He's a Swiss psychiatrist from the 80s, a genius man. I love Carl Jung. If you need a new person to read into or a new book to read, I would definitely recommend looking into Carl Jung. But his idea of synchronicity is just coincidences that are meaningful, but that they're not so much a coincidence that we are creating our reality. That was his understanding. And, you know, when you're, uh, when you're going down this road, you're going to get to the point where a lot of synchronicities start happening to you. And I think, in my opinion, they begin with the numbers. You'll start seeing the numbers. You'll start seeing the attention grabbers first, which could be like your birthday or a number that is very meaningful to you. And you'll start seeing those numbers first. And then it'll move into the double digit master numbers, which sometimes can have a meaning, but a lot of the times they're just reassurance that you are on your path, that you are supported. Sometimes depending on your thoughts, they can mean a certain message. So it is really important when you are seeing those types of synchronicities, the numbers, you need to be very mindful of what your thoughts look like when you see certain numbers repetitively. So becoming very mindful will help you understand what God, the universe, and what yourself is trying to get across to yourself by those messages. But one happened to me yesterday that was so crazy that I wanted to talk about it because in the beginning, I really didn't understand, like, of course you understand what synchronicity means in terms of numbers, but there are other circumstances where synchronicities will happen. And I think a lot of people just write it off as a coincidence. Listen, coincidences do not exist. They're not real. We are constantly creating our own reality, co-creating it with the universe. So what I wanted to talk about was what was happening yesterday. Like <laughs> yesterday, my mom and I were having this conversation Oh my God, a giant branch just fell like out of nowhere. That was crazy. That's the universe saying hi to me. So, <laughs> so yesterday me and my mother were having this conversation about like who does our hair and I usually will go to this one girl um, and I kind of want to find somebody new because it's kind of a far drive for me. So we were just like shooting a breeze about that, you know? And she started telling me about the girl that does her hair now and how, you know, she's really good, but she thinks she may go back to the girl that used to do her hair a long time ago. I'm talking six years ago, this lady used to do her hair. Her name is Dana. So we're talking about Dana and she's like, you know, I don't know really why I ever stopped going to her. I think I just stopped getting my hair done. And you know, so she was telling me this story and I knew who Dana was because she worked at the hair salon I went to when I was a little, little girl, like before I ever like brand out and found my own person or moved away to school or anything like that so I knew who she was and this is a person that I have not seen in over 10 plus years right so yesterday we're talking about this and <laughs> and uh, we have this conversation we talk about Dana and we move on with our lives right so then I'm sitting there and I'm like you know, I think I'm gonna go get my nails done it's been a while since I've got my nails done and I really just had the urge to go do it so I wanted to go get my nails done and so I go to the salon to get my nails done. And can I please tell you that after I got sat in my chair and the place was like packed. So I really wasn't like looking around, like trying to figure out like who everybody was in there. Cause there were so many people. So I sit down at the chair. Can I please tell you who sits down right next to me? Yeah. Dana, right? Yeah, it was Dana. And I was like looking at her and I'm like, Oh my gosh, like that's her. That's Dana. That's insane. Right? So, oh my gosh, I don't know. It was just so crazy to me. Now I've had a lot of synchronicities and a lot of random things like that happen, but that one was like, oh my gosh. Like I haven't talked about or seen this lady in so many years. And the one day me and my mom talk about her, I go to the salon and not to mention like, I wish I would have recorded this, even though I don't know if I would have took the time to edit it in. But on my way to the salon, I stopped at the ATM because I wanted to get cash out so I didn't have to use my card. And, uh, <laughs> When I stopped at the ATM, I pull into, like I always park at the same spot when I pull into this one particular place to use their ATM. And when I pulled into this spot, the car right next to me, the only car right next to me was a 444. So right then and there, I just knew that like, 
it's just like a friendly hello like you are not alone like we support what you're doing like go get them girl go get them nails done girl you go get that manicure girl like the universe is just supporting your happiness and so that's another thing I just wanted to talk about in relation to like the last couple of videos talking about makeup and talking about like unnatural stuff and you know like the spiritual community I know that y'all believe that all you have to you just have to be completely natural all the time and not use any chemicals or anything at all but like do what makes you happy and I don't mean to like stigmatize the spiritual community like that or call y'all out like that but there are a lot of people that you know like oh like I'm more spiritual than you because I don't dye my hair or I'm more spiritual than you because like I don't get my nails done like that whole attitude is so unspiritual like what is that you do what makes you happy do what you love you know I hate to bring this up and get real conspiracy on y'all but I am going to be having a few of those videos coming soon we are literally getting sprayed with chemtrails. I know some of y'all don't believe that, but there are literally chemicals raining down upon us from the sky that they're spraying there. You know, jet fuel, jet fuel exhaust does not turn into hazy clouds. So, you know, the truth sets you free. That is true, that's going on in our reality. So what am I gonna worry about like dyeing my hair and doing my nails and like putting stuff on my face when they are literally fucking killing us from above? Like. No, you know what? I'm gonna do what makes me happy. I'm gonna wear my nails long because I like them and I'm gonna dye my hair blonde if I feel like it. And you know, God is letting me know that I am happy and I'm on, a, I'm on the right path. You know, like that's what those synchronicities do. So the more you get on your path, the more you align with yourself, the more synchronicities you're gonna see in the form of numbers and the form of really strange coincidences that are not coincidences just like that and just a ton of other random stuff. Like you will think about something and then you'll turn and like there that thing will be whether you were thinking about a certain brand or a certain pop and there goes the truck. Like it's just so many different circumstances but I wanted to share that one with you because that one threw me for a loop yesterday. Like wow, of all people and not only in the salon itself but like right next to me in the chair next to me. I was like, oh my gosh, like, thanks God, you're awesome. Like, thank you for letting me know ah, that you just know when you're in the flow. You just know, the, the universe will send you signs. God will send you signs. You will send yourself signs. So that's just what I wanted to say. I was just walking and I was thinking about that. And I was like, you know, like I really need to like tell them that because that was insane. Like absolutely insane and I had and like I said I haven't been to the nail salon in months and months and months like I have not got my nails done in a really long time so I was like you know I'm gonna I'm treat myself I'm gonna go get these nails did and lo and behold the universe is always letting me know that I am in the right place at the right time so I just wanted to let you know that when you start seeing lots of synchronicities and lots of repeating numbers and lots of crazy coincidences appearing in your life just know that you're on the right track don't worry don't question anything. Just just go with the flow and do what you're doing and continue praying and meditating and opening your heart up and wanting to learn and having the intention of self-love and progress and just finding what you're meant to do here, you know? So, so yeah. This is one of my favorite places to come. It's just like a little wooden, wooden area by my home. It's a guy's house back there, you like. I would love to live right there. He's got the setup, man. He's got like all that land and it'd be ideal. I live like over yonder in kind of like the neighborhood area, but <sighs> yes. Lola, you like this? Do you like the trees too? She's so good. She's the best girl ever. It's my best friend. So yeah, that was a crazy, crazy synchronicity that happened to me yesterday. And also like if you're a person who is noticing a lot of synchronicities in your life, like get very excited. Get excited because there are amazing things happening in your reality and amazing things coming to you. So believe that. I love you. I will see you soon, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Keep your heart open, keep your mind open and go out there in the world and do something beautiful and kind for somebody today. I love you so much. Keep it real.